Hi everyone, I hope you're staying nice and cool. Um, in Arizona, we are expecting records heat. Um, right now it's 113 where I live. Um, no, dry heat does not make it better. Um, we're expecting 120 this week, so if you're enjoying snow right now, I know it stinks, but remember it melts. And you can always put some clothes on. You can only take so much off. Anyway, so for today, I am going to read a little bit because obviously my brain isn't working with the heat. It's Go Indy Now, Sunday Fun Day Tag, and today it is Fathers We Know Best. I kind of struggled a little bit, um, to be honest, to find literary fathers. Um, yes, there's always To Kill a Mockingbird, good choice, but then I was like, what other fathers are there besides TV and movies? And so most of mine are gonna be TVs and movies. Um, I do have a great father in my storyline, but you can't just talk about your own. You need to talk about others that have impacted you or that you think, wow, these are great fathers. So the first question is, which fictional father gives the best and most sage advice? Wow, there's a lot of choices on that one. There's um, Mr. Brady, he always had some fun words. Um, Eight is Enough Dad, Tom Bradford. My pick, Phil Dumphy from Modern Family. The second question is, which fictional father would you want to help you in a fight? I would go with Baloo from Jungle Book. A, he's a bear, and they're huge, and they have big claws, and they have big teeth, and they do a scary, horrible growl that would frighten most people. And I think they'd probably win every time. The next question is, what fictional father would you most like to inherit personality traits from? I chose Sheriff Andy Taylor from the Andy Griffith show. My sister thought I was crazy and asked me why I chose this man. And I said, he is so level-headed. No matter what, he was always very calm, very firm, and very collected. And you just knew he was this loyal, strong person that you could depend on, and I like that. The next question is about the fictional father you'd most like to inherit their good looks. Okay, well, I'm female, so this is a little trickier to figure out, because a good-looking man maybe wouldn't make a good-looking girl. And so I went with Mr. Sheffield from The Nanny, because he's pretty good-looking, and then I also liked his British accent. The next question is, which fictional father committed the most heroic act? Now, without giving away any spoilers, my choice is a literary choice right now. This is from the book um, Spider's Bite, which is the Elemental Assassin series by Jennifer Estep, which I love, love, love. The character Fletcher Lane, I can't tell you what he did, but just to me, he is really honestly the most heroic person I can think of. Um, in literary um, or TV right now. So Fletcher Lane. Which fictional characters most in need of a hug? Well, there's many that came to mind. Archie Bunker, I thought of him from All in the Family. And then I thought George Jefferson would definitely need a hug. Um, from the Jeffersons, but then I kind of thought let's go with someone that needs a hug and is gonna get it So I chose Daddy Warbucks from Annie because um, he was very tough and masculine and um, Just in his own little rich world and then this little orphan stole his heart and I think the hug saved it all Which fictional father did the coolest thing? Well, hmm, you'll be surprised by my choice, but think of Despicable Me and that lovable villain Gru. Well, I know lovable is probably not the right way to describe him, but coolest thing, when he punched that shark when he walked in to the bad guy's place, can't think, think of his name right now, that was pretty cool. But the coolest thing to me was when he wrote the story to the girls apologizing. I loved it.
Which fictional father would benefit the most from becoming a father? I thought Mr. Miyagi. Now you're saying, really, what would he benefit from? I think he has so much to share that he would be a perfect father. Wax on, wax off. And then the chopstick thing with the fly. He should have been a father. He should have taught someone all his magical gifts besides Danielson. Just my opinion. I'm not going to lie. Which fictional father is the funniest was difficult because there's lots of funny dads. Um, Phil Dumphy still the funniest, but his wisdom had to win out. Then I thought, Robin Williams, he's pretty funny. And what has he been in that is a dad and he's super funny? And Mrs. Doubtfire came to mind um, when he played Daniel Hillard. Um, he really is just honestly the funniest man that ever lived. And um, rest in peace to him because the world lost a little bit the day he left us. So now it's about my father. So my father, what what characters or what have I learned the most from him? Um, my dad has, when I grew up, I always just remembered him being so funny and so fun to be around and the life of the party and just this loyable, loyable, loyal, dependable, or loyable if you want to combine it, fun guy that you wanted to be around. Um, and you didn't mind selling brooms even when you were with him. Now it's the end of my choices and I hope you liked my father picks. Um, you may have some others you want to share that maybe I didn't think about. I hope everyone's having a great Father's Day and a great day staying cool out there or staying warm out there if you're somewhere cold. Um, to thank you for coming, just want to remind you that remember my first book in my series is going to be free on Kindle from today, June 18th. Um, until the 22nd, which is four days later, five days later. And so you can pick it up free. Remember my first book. And then you can, if you like it, I hope you'll pick up some others. Happy Father's Day.